Oh, here we go. This is going to be great. Uh, so we're going to take some survey of what we can keep and what we should trash. There's a lot that we're going to trash. Okay, so let's say up to here is good on the forearm. And basically from the fingers where they connect here out, to the hand are complete junk. So we're going to smash these points around and kind of come up with our own geometry. Actually, let's uh, let's keep this. That's a good line. Let's do that. But this stuff in the middle is junk. So I'm going to do a lot of deletion. Actually, we could, we could re-topo, but I feel like that's... That's a little cheating on this whole aspect. So let's uh let's just generate some new topol uh, new topology from scratch. Oh yeah. And also we gotta think of how these match together properly. Ugh, what is this? Alright, what are you? Look at you. Ooh, that's a really gross Connection. All right, let's just keep hacking and slashing until our hacking and slashing can do no more. Okay, so this is a good connection. This up here can be reduced significantly, and uh, so yeah, uh, this process is pretty cool for creating a uh, a form really quick, and. I've noticed that it mangles things that are more complicated, like hands generally, which is kind of frustrating, but uh, overall it'll, it'll at least give you the shapes, which is good. And yeah, we could just retopo this area. Well, no, no, we can't retopo it because it's all mangled anyway, so like this point's off, intersecting this thing. Uh, okay, so let's look at it from the top, and let's actually kind of pull out our thumb a little bit. <laughs> I like how it, it, it's kind of like a little, reminds me of uh, peanuts, the way their hands are, these like weird, fleshy, graspy things, like sausage fingers all around. Okay, so let's wipe out this stuff. Okay. Um, so as you can tell, I do a very destructive style of modeling, which is, if it doesn't work, get rid of it. Okay. So let's create some faces. That's cool. Oh, uh, so to do that, I select, I switched to edge mode, and then I selected both edges and hit F to create a face. So I'm just going to keep doing that. And... At this point, it's going to be kind of like a normal retopo kind of thing. So I'm going to extrude this out. Extrude this out. So we're going to keep these lines. We might need more geometry. Nah, we're probably good. Because uh, we're going to have another strip going this way. And then two more for this. Another strip. Oh, so much geometry. And we can, we'll, we'll collapse that and make it more efficient in a bit. But I just want to get all my connections out first. Uh, do do do. So let's hit F, and then, ooh, oh, okay, okay. So, my favorite add-on in the world. Let's go up here to File, User Preferences. Ah, yes, okay. So, add-ons. If you don't have this enabled, click on the search bar, type F2. And then, you know how it says Mesh F2? Click this little check mark. Hit Save User Settings, because you're never going to want to let it go. Because what this allows you to do is some pretty cool stuff. So notice how I made a chain of edges here, and there's a chain here as well. So if I hit F, 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 it's just going to generate it for me, which is awesome. And that has saved me a ton of work. So let's pull this one out, and then F. Cool. F2 is the greatest. And I believe, uh, I have to do it manually, the initial setup. And let's actually... Subdivide this. Boop. And now, give us our little top hand geometry. Okay. 
Uh, two, 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 two. So we have to do the same thing for the underside. And we can quickly fix that by just copying and pasting down here. Because we're working with such little geometry, we don't really have to do much for like hardcore modeling techniques, which is pretty cool. Pull this down, pull this up, and we'll we'll uh, we'll actually use the sculpt tool a little bit later to bind these things together. So F uh, F. I actually have no idea. All right, we're gonna hit Control R to add an edge loop. And now we're going to create this little punk, and then F, 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 F. Uh, ah, no, I didn't make it right. Okay, F, F, F. Thank you, F2. You are fantastic. Otherwise, this would have taken a little bit longer. Uh, let's switch to vertex mode, control tab, beep. Merge these at last. Yeah, let's do last. Okay. And let us pull these things out. Pull these out. Derp, 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 derp. Uh, whoops. Wrong one. I selected the one in a plane further away. Uh, yeah, let's add in another loop here. So subdivide. Boop. And now fill, fill, fill. Okay. So now we have this crazy, oh, we also got to fix this, merge, at last, okay. So now what we have is this crazy amount of polygons right here, which we can actually quickly get rid of, um, but where should we get rid of them? All right, and that is where we are going to pick up our next lesson, where we're going to uh, tinker with the topology of the hand and make it so that this meshes with this so there's no real crazy geometry going on. And it'll be fantastic. Everything will be wonderful. Hooray! Edge loops. Right. So, we need to fix some things before we move on. Okay. Let us select our polygons. Also notice, so what we're fixing right now is, you know how there's little bands around these fingers? This doesn't connect in the same way that these fingers do. So we're going to fix that. So we're going to select these po polygons, and we're going to delete them. So delete faces. Yay! Okay. So next step is we're going to create some supports for the new edge loop that we're going to make. I'm going to hit Control r over here. And now we're going to actually extrude these out. And now we can connect them. And make sure that we're connecting the right ones. Whoops. Yep. And we just got to do this a little bit manually. Okay, that's great. Fantastic. And now, because of the geometry structure that we had before, we can get rid of these. So, delete edge loops. Delete edge loops. Okay. So, now we need to connect the hand to the wrist and what we need to do is we need to actually reduce our geometry down here so i'm gonna fill those up first so i can work a little bit easier and let's just kind of massage points around a little bit more just to make them look a little bit there make them a little bit easier to organize so we can work with them a little bit better do, 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 boop. Okay, cool. All right. So we're going to do a little trick that reduces from three polygons down to one. And it is super useful in any kind of retopology situation where you have too much polygons going to too little polygons. So we're going to reduce our geometry. And to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to select these points. And we're going to drag them in a little bit. So we're going to create a little U-shape. And now we're going to use this fancy tool in Blender called the Knife Tool. I'm going to hit K. I'm going to select this point. Cut through here. Cut through here. And to create these little slashes, what we all we have to do is like left-click. And now 
uh, it's not connecting the geometry. I'm just going to connect up here and then hit enter to make it a actual cut. So I'm going to merge these. So merge at last because I selected that point last. Now we're going to dissolve a bunch of poly uh, dissolve a bunch of points. So we're going to do this and dissolve vertices. Boop. Okay. So now we can use our handy dandy knife tool to create another face and another face. Boop. So now we've reduced three to one, and we're going to do the same thing over here. So let's drag this down Boop. and K. And for some reason, that did the same thing it did previously. So I'm going to connect it up here. Usually, it's not this finicky. And merge at last. Okay. So now, now let's dissolve these vertices as well. Dissolve verts. And now, K. Boop. K. Boop. And now we have clean hand geometry. Hooray! And weird little knuckle things that we can move around if we want. Now well, let's do the same exact thing to the bottom. So, uh, just to make sure. Yes, okay, good. So we're going to reduce this geometry. Let's move this back a little bit to make our little U shape. And let us... Doot, 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 doot. Why is that? That's so weird. Okay, so usually this is working out fine for me but today it is not not exactly sure why and let's dissolve this whoops uh, let's dissolve it uh, roots. and let us recreate our geometry Oop. actually I don't think it's the same way up there no it's roughly the same it's actually a step ahead so let's uh actually just undo and do the same thing okay so boop 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 I guess I'll just keep cutting in a little bit off merge at last and let's dissolve these verts dissolve verts Okay, and let's do it again here. Bring this up, U-shape, and actually we don't even need to create that. We just dissolve the verts and cut in. Boop, boop. I guess I was trying to create a structure beforehand for some reason. Let's just cut these. And cut these. And as long as everything is touching and good, I can also move these up. And let's flip all normals out. All right, now F2 a bunch of times to mesh this all together. And we have repaired hands with new geometry that isn't going to be completely insane or crazy. It keeps our volume relatively the same. It's actually kind of just puff these things out a little bit and uh, we'll actually come back later with a sculpting tool and really refine the shape because I always find that to be a little bit easier than mashing around points forever which I am very much accustomed to Whoop. okay so we are starting to get hands together and we are going to work on other areas of our geometry but now that we've got this part done, which I would say is one of the more complicated parts of this piece, I'm, I'm excited and happy to move on. So first thing first, I want to, well, first things first, uh, I want to uh, increase the toe a little bit. Pull this out. Let's also pull this one out a little bit more. And I also want to flatten it at the bottom. So let's kind of drag these things out. And... Scale Z. So now we have a little flat booty at the bottom. Haha, <laughs> booty at the bottom. And let's also flatten these out too. That's Z. Boop. 
and make sure that the scale is at zero. Okay, and now we have a little boot print. Excellent. Sure. Oh, yeah, let's uh, increase the taper here a little bit so it's, it's a little bit more natural than the toes just kind of mashing into it. Pull this out. This big toe to little toe. Let's actually pull these all out a little bit more. Okay, pull this over, just a little bit. Okay, so that's looking a little bit better. Let's actually add a modifier. So we're going to be actually subdividing this in the future, or actually just having a subsurf on it. Pump that up a little bit, and let's turn on smoothing, smooth shading. So select our object, and then click smooth shading. Now we can see how our... Topology is affecting the light bouncing off of it, specifically in the hand area. So that's, let's uh, actually focus our view. So you can hit numpad period to focus. And let's kind of see what's going on there. Okay, so that's good. Things are working out in our favor. Um, and last area I want to check out is this little crotch region. And let's uh, disable this for the time being. So I kind of want to make sure that these things don't intersect. So I'm going to just kind of unfold them. And that was that was easy. So now we have this area no longer intersecting, which is great. And we can actually pull this out a little bit more. And oh, that's intersecting too. So let's grab these and pull them out. Okay, so now we have a little bit of a gap there. And let's make it more of a, make sure that that's not concave. Okay, cool. So we've got our little crotchal region set up. Let's check out our shape a little bit more. Okay. All right. That's looking good. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to actually separate some, actually, let's start working with our subdivision surface and see what we can do without actually adding any more geometry. See what, uh cool things we can pull off with it. So let's turn our subsurface back on in edit mode and some cool controls control E or actually not control E. Uh, is it is it control E? So uh, if you go to a command you can actually see what the uh, hotkey is generally so shift E is edge crease. What that's going to do is that's going to have our subsurfaces stick to those points so Crease 1 is 100% strength, and we actually do negative. So negative 1 will actually loosen it. So let's have it stick a little bit more because we want this to be a sharper shape. And let's grab the bottoms of our booties. Ah, <laughs> booties. And we can actually switch to edge mode so we can work with it a little bit faster. So shift E. Kind of 100% that. And this, these little pink sections are showing us how our uh, our creases are working. So, shift E, gonna define that a little bit more. And let's make sure that the neck isn't loose. And shift E. So that comes down to a hard point. Um, what other areas do I want to have right here? So like where the spacesuit is going to be kind of attaching to other parts. And this area here I want to crease as well. And let's say the fingers, the, the fingos, shift E. And let's see what that looks like. Okay. And uh, let's get the knuckles and the joints. That's a little weird, but uh, let's get the tips of the fingers too. Shift E. Whoop! That is extrude. That is not what we want. Uh, shift E. Crease that. Shift E. Crease that. Shift E, crease that. Okay, so we've got creases all over our body now. That's good. 
And uh, cool, 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 cool. So the next step that we could do is start working on our head. So our head's going to have different geometry because we want to do some specific stuff to it. So let us just slice it off. Actually, let's uh, shift E that too. Actually, nah. Okay, so let us cut off our head from here. So I'm going to grab it here. And let's increase our selection by one. Okay, to do what I did... You hit Control plus to increase the selection by one. You can also do Control minus, and this is numpad plus and minus. And that lets us select and deselect uh, a radiation out of our selection, which is kind of awesome. Uh, we can also select connected as well by hitting L to select everything attached to this point. And let's just go back to what we had and then click control plus okay so now we actually want to separate this mesh so let's hit p to separate by selection and now we have a separate mesh with the same modifiers as our previous mesh except now it's we've got a head and a little neck bit area and uh Starting in the next section, we're going to be working on the head and the neck area to kind of like mash them together and make it so that they don't look like they're floating off in space and different pieces. Oops. And then we will also be working on the head topology to uh, give them an interesting head setup. Okay, so I'm going to actually just kind of shrink this down, pull it in, and kind of do the same here. I want the neck to be a little bit thinner. Uh, let's scale it in on the... X, pull it down, kind of give them like a little cartoony head. Ooh, pull this in. Okay, so we want our spacesuit to be a little bit bulkier, so I switch to this object. So tab to switch between object and edit mode. And let's uh, actually edit over here. So E for extrude, pull in, scale on the Y axis, and let's do that again. Extrude, and then merge at center, or at center, and then drag them together. So now we have our little topology there, and let us create a little, little area where our spacesuit will connect to its helmet. So, kind of like in this, let's, uh, only got four polygons. We can do it, we got this. Let's pull this up, and actually, actually, yeah, now let's pull this up. And let's go to the side and rotate it so we kind of have that little cuppy shape. And now we should kind of select these polygons and pull them down. So subsurface mode gives us a lot of leeway with forms, which is kind of great. And I'll just kind of pull this together. So we're creating our little shape and let's select both of these and then shift e to sharpen that up let's do that here too Whoop. and this is a little floppy here yeah let's sharpen this all up okay uh yeah okay so we're starting to get that little cuppy shape in the back and let's do it around here too to really solidify the the shape let's kind of do that and I, I would like to loosen this a little bit on the inside and the outside so shift e and then pull it back a little bit so it's a little bit softer okay and let's make this so it's not directly in line with that part so let's pull it out and do the same in the front Okay, so let's go back to the head, let's actually look at our whole drawing there, yeah, let's actually pull it out another step, 
alt right click on that edge and pull up pull out let's kind of pull this as well i'm going to turn on proportional editing for a second and then drag this out and then grab this edge lots of tweaking is involved i'm going to pull that down Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. And pull this up. Pull this up. Might want to add in another edge here. And then kind of pull this one in. And let's turn off proportional editing. Actually, yeah. No, we want it on. Oh, that's... Yeah. So we want to create another edge on the inside so we don't have to have a crazy thing going on okay so let's select both of these pull it in a little bit and let's crease it uh, yeah let's crease it shift E pull it in a little bit okay so now we're getting a kinda interesting connector for our helmet and yeah that's gonna be good i'm gonna pull it up a little bit back as well just to really poof up the shape and we'll pull it back a little bit more the whole thing pull it back and then pull this up let's pull this back as well let's Uh, and deal with creasing in these areas to kind of make it match up with the mesh a bit better. Okay. So that's looking good. Let us now move back to our head. And actually, I want to just kind of straighten this up a little bit. Okay. Okay. Because we're going to have a glass dome that connects it. Okay, let's look at our head a little bit better. All right. So, actually, before we start doing this, the major feature that I want to de deal with in this character are the eyeballs. So, let's create some eyeballs. So, create a UV sphere. And it doesn't matter what density it is. 32 by 16 is fine. Let's uh, let's look at it. Let's actually move to a different layer so we can work on this on its own. All right. And also, let's turn off our background image. Where are you? Background images. Boop. Okay. So first off, let's rotate this towards... Actually, first off, let's center this thing. So uh, snap cursor to center. And then add mesh UV sphere. Okay. Now, edit mode, rotate 90 degrees in a direction that will make it parallel, or make the poles along the y-axis. And let's check this out. Okay. So, the way I like making eyes is by actually selecting these faces and deselecting these. So, I'm uh, to deselect them, you can select with left click and deselect with middle mouse button. And that'll create that um, what I like to do is pull in a little bit to create the iris and extrude in to create the pupil so now we've got a an eyeball which is pretty cool um, actually I kind of want to make the iris a bit bigger so let's just select all of this and because like a, a cartoon usually has things like uh, exaggerated so let's just kind of pull these in so we're gonna have a big old iris let's pull this in a little bit too because that's gonna be how thick the iris is and we can actually change that and let's extrude this inwards okay so we have this sweet shape and now we can actually do some material editing just so we can see what's going on really quick I'm gonna click on materials I'm gonna click new and now we have a new material. I'm going to call it Sclera. 
which is the white part of your eye. And let's also make it smooth. So let's make this kind of off whitey a little bit, just a little bit like that. Okay, that's fine. And now let's add a iris color. So let's add new iris. Let's add another color for the pupil. New pupil. Okay, and let us quickly do this. So let's select all these. Boop. And actually, let's select these two. So we can Alt, Shift, Alt, right click, and let's assign pupil, and let's change our pupil to black. And that's fine. And let us now Alt, right click to select that. Let's assign it to the iris, and let's change that to uh, some kind of purpley color for now, just so we can see the difference. And now we have a crazy purple eyeball. Woo! Uh, and let's just make sure that we are on smooth shading. And yeah! So we have created an, a giant eyeball in the crotch of an alien, and uh, a little hood shape, and separated the head. Okay, in our next lesson we will be working on our head and our eyeball setup.